Hi, today we'll be taking a look at the Grand Blue deck from BT09 featuring 7 Cs. Right, first we'll start off with the main group 3. Right, all 7 C units share the same ability. When this unit's attack hits, you may uh, put a treasure marker onto a circle without any treasure marker. Right, so all 7 C units share the same ability. So uh, as the main vanguard, it gains ability according to the amount of treasure on your field. So if you have one or more, your rear guard may attack and intercept from the back row. If there are three or more during this turn, all your unit with 7C get power plus 5000. If there are six or more, after this unit is attacking battle, stand all your rear guard with 7C in name. Alright, so after battle, if you have, if you have treasure marker on all your circles, you may stand all your rear guards again. Next, go for the rare. This is uh, slash shade. So uh, second effect during your turn, if this card is on a circle with marker, this unit get power plus fifteen k. The circle, the marker includes the protect two. So if this card is on a protect two, it get power plus fifteen k. The twenty four k attacker. Right. So with nightshade you can actually put it at the back row and have a 24 attacker to swing from the back row next we have the spino night spino so enters the field counter plus one two cards from the top of your deck into drop from your drop call up to one seven c card other than this unit so uh, this is our main unit to revive your other comrades Next, we have our non 7 Cs. So, first of all, we have Grid Shape. And next, we have the new card, Column Bow. So, enters the field, counter plus one from your deck. Choose one card, up to one card, put it into drop, shuffle the deck, and call up to one card from your drop zone onto the rear guard circle. Uh, cards with the same name can activate once per turn. Right, so, you can choose any unit you need at that point of time, put it into drop. Or you can just thin your deck and call anything you need from your drop zone. Alright, so um, if you are going for a more budget friendly deck, I would suggest uh, sec going for like maybe like three, three grid shit and three night captain night miss if needed. All right, or else uh, Columba is one of the best choice of this deck. Next, we have night claw. So activate from the drop zone. If you have a vanguard with 7C in name, so plus one, retire one of your rear guard other than uh, Nightcrow on the field. Call this from your rear guard circle. Right, so it's an auto reviver from the drop zone. Next we have a uh, list tutor. So if this card is on the circle with a uh, Marco, this unit get intercept. Right, so you can intercept with this from the back row. Right here comes the non seven C, but this is a good addition to the deck. Necro bone from the drop zone. This card up from hand. Return this card back to the bottom deck. Call up to call a grid one from the drop zone onto the rear guard circle. If you turn or more in your drop zone, you can call any grid instead. Right, so it replenish your deck. And you get to revive anything if there's 10 or more in your drop. Next, we have a grid zero. Right, this is not the forerunner, but uh, activate, bind this card, put two cards from the top of the deck into drop zone. And after that, from your drop zone, return up to one 7C card other than this unit back to hand. So, Night Runner. So, uh, example, like we have, if I don't have a grade 3, I can just put this from the field into bind. Mew 2, if I'm lucky, I have a grade 3 amount that I can just add it to my hand. Right, so, this is a useful card. You can actually decrease this for Necro Bone if needed. And then as for the trigger, we are playing uh, 8 draw. Right, since this deck requires a lot of. Uh, pieces, puzzle pieces in your hand. Right. 
let's go for the gameplay right just to let you know that um after testing this that actually goes well with either protect one or protect two right both actually works pretty well so normally by grade three i should have around let's say a uh, two treasure parker Right. So the gameplay is very simple. You just have to uh from early game just keep rushing. This is actually a pretty fast deck. Right. You can actually go like this. If needed, you don't have to make it one of each. You can even have like all the great tools on the field if needed. Like this. Right, it will still work. So basically, uh, as long as at the attack hit, you can put a marker. So even if I were to attack the rear guard, it hits the rear guard, I can just put a marker anywhere. So the idea is just to have six. And of course, uh, leave the Vanguard Circle to the last one because uh, it's not necessary. As a rear guard, you can actually have a stash shade to increase the power if needed. So after all five, Vanguard attacks. Vanguard should be the last to attack. So after you attack with everything, Vanguard attacks and withstand everything. And not only that, if you have three or more, they actually get power plus 5000 which is uh, actually pretty big, especially when this unit get power plus 15k by itself, if there's a marker. So you actually look like this. This is a pretty fast paced deck. Right, it's a simple, uh, budget friendly and pretty aggressive deck. Right, so that's 7c.